today is soil sample day. We got to go out to the field and um, get some soil samples to get tested to find out the pH value, the organic matter, um, micronutrients. Uh, right now you're looking at the front hay field. So we need to get about 15 to 20 samples from this field. Um, and then up there you see the, the ridge. Um, and then up there towards the top you're looking at a couple pastures. And that's going to have a different soil um, breakdown. So we're going to have to have test that out separately and get another 15 to 20 soil samples from there as well. And what we'll do is we'll put these up in a bag and then send them to the UNH Cooperative Extension to get the results. Okay, we are going to do the first soil sample. We're basically on the, what is this, the north west side of the field. What we gotta do is we gotta dig below the grass and it's a little bit tougher than I thought it was gonna be. You don't want grass matter in. You're trying to get the the soil that's below here, uh, and that's the soil you want. So we'll dig this up. This is some good hay here. You can get a little bit further, about six inches down. You're gonna get their soil sample. Don't need a lot because we're gonna be doing about 15 to 15 to 20 different samples. And I'm going to put that into this bag. Maybe get a little bit more. A little bit deeper. Put that in. We're going to do that now for 15 to 20 times. I'm going to fill this back in as much as we can. And, uh, hopefully that will grow back without too much trouble. And... Um, I will see you at the end of the 15 to 20 samples. We just collected our 15 samples from the field, the lower field. I'm not sure if you can see it, but just in this 10 to 15 acres down here, you can see all the different colorations of soil. It's the reason why they want you to do 15, minimum of 15 um, samples across the land when the land of this size. So they can get a, a really good average soil composition. But you can see the, the dark and lighter soil, soil that is um, a lot more compact. Um, and hopefully we'll get a good sample out of this. All right, see so you up at pasture. Get to the top of the pasture here. So you see it's a beautiful view. It's a bit hazy today because of the, uh, the warm front that just came in. So normally you could see uh, a pretty good view of the Mount Kearsarge right over there but it is a bit hazy now. Now up on these fields it was being used for grazing um, livestock so we had cattle up here for the most part. The uh, oh, just got attacked by uh, some uh, spring bug. The it, it is, if you can see this, got a nice one on my my finger there. Almost looked like a firefly of sorts. I'm not an insectologist though. Um, this field was, as I was saying before, has was being used for grazing livestock. So I'm really interested to find out what is the soil composition here. Obviously the livestock were um, depositing their manure as they were going along, although they weren't very focused on uh, making sure it was spread evenly. And also, since um, these two pastures, this is the highest one, are on a, um, a steep incline, during uh, rain, uh, heavy rainstorms, a lot of that those nutrients may be washed off and down to the field below. So again, I'd be interested to find out uh, what is our soil composition. We'll do uh, 20 samples in this uh, on these two fields, so probably 10 on this upper pasture, 10 and below, and get those Here's sent down. Sample from the two pastures, about uh, 10 uh, samples from each pasture, and uh, here's our. 15 samples from the lower field. We are going to uh, let both of those air dry. So we're going to let them air dry, get all that moisture out. Then we're going to mix them up uh, as a dry mixture, um, keeping the two bags separate. 
and then we'll probably have about a, f a cup to two cups of soil sample we'll send into the extension. It will give you a really nice average mixture of uh, soil composition. Get that uh, those answers back in about um, it's one week. Been a couple of days in which we have left the soil samples to be um, air dried. And then we took out the rocks, some of uh, as much of the plant matter as we could. We put into very clearly marked containers. As you can see these hefty bags uh, for the front field, upper pastures. Filled out our UNH extension soil analysis forms and uh, attached a check. The total for both of these uh, particular samples is going to be $35, which was the... Um, uh, included the, the normal soil analysis as well as the organic matter analysis as well. And we will get back to you with the results. All right, thanks for joining the Yard Project.